Okay, got a little ember smoldering in a piece of uh, bracket fungus. We're gonna let that smolder a while and check in on occasion and see how it does. So uh, stay tuned, more to come. What I'm doing today is seeing how some bracket fungus uh, can be used to preserve smoldering embers. I've got a piece of chaga and I've got two pieces of crack cap polypore. Chaga grows up in the Great White North, Canada, Alaska, Siberia. Doesn't grow in Ohio, I had to buy it on the uh, internet. I got it on eBay. I paid about $25 for a pound of it in the summer of 2021. The uh, crack cap polypore grows on black locust trees and it's hard not to go on a hike and find several of these. Um, what I did was I put an ember into a divot in each one of my pieces of fungus and uh, got them to ignite. I weighed them before I started and I marked down the time when I got them uh, reliably ignited. And what I'm gonna try to do is determine a, a, a consumption rate. How many grams per hour, for example, that uh, an ember will consume. Um, my observation so far is that chaga is really easy to ignite and it burns at a really quick rate. You can see that my chaga piece my chaga piece has been going for maybe 10 minutes or so and it's almost completely consumed. My two crack cap polypores, you can see them smoking. Uh, they've been lit uh, not quite as long as the chaga piece, but they're burning a uh, much slower rate. The chaga is very easy to ignite. Just lay an ember into it and it will ignite right off the bat. The uh, two uh, polypore pieces, you need to kind of coax them along, blow on them a little bit until they ignite. Um, so I've got sitting here a larger crack cap polypore that I picked up off of a black locust tree not long ago. And uh, so we're just going to let these guys smolder and check in from time to time and see how they're doing, see what their consumption rate might look like. We'll do a little bit of math later on and I'll report back. All right, stay tuned. Doesn't look like it, but it really is slow smoldering. Well, we're about 35 minutes into our little experiment today. The chaga piece has been completely consumed. It went out at about 30 minutes or so. Uh, my two pieces of crack cap polypore, on the other hand, are still smoking and smoldering away and I think they're gonna probably burn for quite a bit longer. I thought I would, since I've got a few minutes and I've still got pieces of the crack cap polypore that I can hold on to without burning my hands, um, I thought I would go ahead and show you how to rekindle your fire once it's time to get it going again. I've got a piece of uh, dried punk wood that I'm gonna use. And what I do is I, Carefully try to pick up, it's getting hot. One of my smoldering uh, pieces of fungus, blow away some of the ash. And find a spot that's kind of glowing red and stick my, stick my punk wood up to it and see if I can get it to ignite. Just that fast. Punk wood's pretty easy to ignite. And uh, that's getting so hot, it's hard to hold on to, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> All right, put it in my tender bundle and see if we can get it to go.
There it goes. There it goes. It ignited a few seconds earlier and I didn't see it and I blew it out. Or anyway, that's how you would rekindle a fire after preserving an ember for a while. Um, I'm going to come back in a, a little while after these two pieces of uh, crack cat polypore have burned down appreciably and uh, We'll have some final remarks. Back soon. It's been a little bit over an hour, and of course the chaga is completely consumed, but my two cracked cap polypores are still going. Let's see if we can get them to glow a bit. See about this one. Out taut. You can see it glowing right in there. All right, these guys are. Uh, they're small enough and they're hot enough that they're hard to hold. If I was going to rekindle a fire, I probably would have done so well beforehand. Either that or start another larger piece. So that's the last time I'm going to check in until these guys are fully consumed. And I don't know quite how long that is going to be. Might be another hour. We'll see. I'll let you know. Stay tuned. Okay, it's time to wrap this one up. Uh, after about an hour and a half, I decided to uh, take my two pieces of cracked cap polypore and wrap them up in some aluminum foil and kind of uh, starve them for oxygen and, and put them out. I, uh, I didn't want to wait all day, but I uh, did some math, wrote some numbers, and made myself some notes so I could make sure that I, I tell you all that I wanted to share. So my chaga piece, that started out and it weighed 8.8 .8 grams and it was fully consumed, burned down to nothing but ashes in just about 30 minutes. They gave me a consumption rate of about 18 grams per hour. Converting that into ounces, it's about 0.62 ounces per hour. That's right around just a little bit under 5 eighths of an ounce per hour. Uh, my observation was that uh, chaga was very easy to ignite and as a matter of fact 100% ignition every time I've tested this by placing an ember in a little piece of chaga. And it burns uh, easily, catches quickly, and it smolders a little bit faster than the crack cap polypore pieces. And I'll share that with you in just a second. It also seems to have a, a lower density, and maybe that's why it smolders a little bit faster. The, the, the physical size of my crack cap polypore pieces and my chaga piece, they were roughly the same physical size but the crack cap polypore weighed, uh, both of them weighed about 20, about 20 grams, so a little more than twice the, the, the weight of the chaga. And I wonder if that has some effect on the smolder rate. So I had two crack cap polypores. The first one started off at 19.7 uh, grams and it finished at 0 0.7 grams and it burned for about 80 minutes and uh, the second piece started at 20.7 grams and I snuffed it out I, this one was the second one that I ignited so it only burned for 78 minutes and it finished at 3.5 grams so I looked at an average com consumption rate across uh, the two of those pieces and I came up with an average consumption rate of 13.75 grams per hour for the crack cap polypore, or just under a half of ounce per hour. So it's, it burns, it smolders just a little bit slower. The, the crack cap polypore smolders just a little bit slower than the chaga. But because of the density, you would need 
a much larger piece of chaga to smolder as long as the crack cap polypore. So then it occurred to me, I've got this one. I wonder how long that this one would smolder. I weighed it. It weighs 151 grams. And at the average smolder rate for the smaller crack cap polypore pieces, this would this would stay lit for probably just under 11 hours. So it'd certainly be able to go all night long. Okay. That's all for this one. If you have need of preserving an ember for whatever reason, you can do it either with chaga or you can do it with crack cap polypore. For me, I prefer the crack cap polypore just because it's free and easy to find in Ohio. Uh, if you live up in parts north, chaga might be your preferred option. That's all for now. See you again soon.